Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Skin grafting, we are looking at the face of the graft uptake. So the first one being the imbibition. So there are three faces. And the first one is the imbibition. Imbibition. So imbibition means the plasmatic circulation. It is a plasmatic circulation. And this is during the first 48 hours. This is during first 48 hours. And the graft is nourished with the plasma exudate. So if you look at the graft, it is nourished. and nourished with the plasma exudate nourished with the plasma exudate and this is from the host bed capillaries this is from the host bed capillaries so this was the imbibition next is the inosculation So inosculation here it is the cut vessels from the host bed. So the cut vessels from the host bed. So cut vessels from the host bed it lines up with so it lines up it lines up with the curtains the curtains of the vessels and this is of the graft to form the anastasis. This is of graft to form the anastomosis. Next we move on to the neovascularization. So neovascularization, the blood vessels grow from the recipient bed into the graft. So the blood vessels, they grow from recipient, from the recipient and this is into the graft. So we saw imbibition, inosculation and the neovascularization. So the sensations are written to the graft over time. So when you look at the sensations. It returns it returns uh, to the graft to the graft over time over time and uh, with re beginning at approximately four to five weeks with the re -innervation. so this begins at approximately four to five weeks so this begins from four to five weeks and being completely completed by 12 to 24 months and being completed by 12 to 24 months now looking at the pain returns first so here the pain it returns first followed by the light touch so the pain is first then the light touch and after the light touch is the temperature so the temperature it returns later to learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe